Well, it's not even things that you didn't think would change in your life, but the story of things that other people said, like maybe people with degrees and doctor titles and things like that said wouldn't change. But I think as you said to me, you kind of always had this hope that they would or could. Will you tell me about that? What shifted for you? Yeah. I have had a lot of concussions in my life through various sports and various falling out of trees and things. And then seven years ago, I hit my head badly twice in a row. And it was, I was non-functional for quite a length of, you know, almost a year, three months, very much so. And then a year where I could work, but like 30%. Um, and in that there were, there was things that symptoms that resolved and some that didn't, and the ones that didn't were quite life changing, but seven years on, I still had a lot of, a lot of things that I was told in varying ways from varying health professionals and doctors and audiologists and, um, one friend of mine who's a researcher um, in neurology and concussions. So, you know, she's working on a PhD. She knows stuff. (laughs) Um, I had been told that it was a permanent brain injury. And it was uh, more than one person used the example of, it's like you've had your leg amputated. So these functions will never change. It will never come back. Don't look at it to change. And so there's, there's a piece in accepting what is. And so for a long time, I had just, okay. I couldn't watch movies anymore. I had trouble making supper if other people were in the room. Um, There was all sorts of things where I just didn't do anymore. Um, I became okay with, I might have a panic attack at any moment. And so wherever I was, (laughs) I got good at having panic attacks in public or wherever I might happen to be. And that, that there's, there's an immense freedom and value in just, you know, not putting thinking on what is. And every now and then it would come to me this could change. And now it looks bananas that for a really long time, I didn't even pay attention to that. Like, why did I? Yeah. <laughs> like years. <laughs> and I, and I've seen things as a chiropractor that healed in other people that weren't supposed to. So it looks funny to me that I so believed as well. Um, because there would be times where it seemed like I had function back where I could do things. And if, if your leg had been amputated, it never reappears and starts working again. But if that's the metaphor, then that is literally what would happen. But I, I literally didn't see it because I was living in the reality of this is permanent. (laughs) And every now and then I would wonder about that. And I guess I I had, there were different things I, I sort of tried, but I think I always had that foundational assumption. And I'm not sure I could say exactly what changed that, but I started to, I guess I started to see more and more the bigness of who we all are as humans. And that bigness, more and more things that I thought were true turned out not to be. And so I think I I just started looking at things. And so one day I kind of heard it. Oh, maybe maybe. And it, 
was fairly quickly where I started to see the disabilities and the symptoms and the panic attacks as thought, as things that I thought I needed to have and different, um, I really started to watch myself create it. The, the first thing was the, like it, the willingness for it to change even. Because in that, I, I had noticed at one point that I wasn't entirely willing for it to change, which seems crazy. But it's, it's easy to blame yourself for, did I make my life a living hell for seven freaking years? And there was a point where it looked almost easier just to continue living in that hell rather than admitting, oh my God, I did that. <laughs> but the... Yeah, I just kept coming back to the the bigness of who we are. I was like, but yeah, I'm I'm not the person. I'm I'm not the the body creating the symptoms like that. It's not me. And um, yeah, things started to fall away. And then there was about there's probably two weeks of right like up and down, up and down, up and down. And then there was 24 hours, where I would say within that 24 hours it all vanished and some aspects of it were things that I never thought would. Um, my eyes didn't track and coordinate together and you know, the eye specialists tested them and that's why you get nauseous when you watch movies. Well, that changed. And I, and, and the rapidity, like it went from one day to the next and those eye muscles, I wouldn't have thought that, you know, okay, what needs to happen with certain eye muscles have to strengthen up. Well, within like a two hour period. <laughs> so That's where we were talking about the word miracle before. Like there's things where I can kind of Parts of it, I can kind of go, well, okay, if I didn't have that thinking, I wouldn't have the panic attack or the fear. But like eye muscles started working again or stopped or, or worked less, like didn't overwork. I, for 20 years, I've had a wart on my leg that was giant. <laughs> this one seems so, it's gone within about two days. Like I would feel it every time I put cream on my legs. And it was so, it, it was just very unchanging. I kind of didn't think much of it, but I would feel it. It disappeared. <laughs> yeah. And I guess I didn't, it, it's like the, I didn't try to make things change. It was, I started to see that they could. 